to my wait. Wait till my brother will enjoy my life. My leg went to my brother. And you didn't tell me that I need to get a visa to stop by my son's house. Anyway, I have a section with my physiotherapist to work on. Yes. Physiotherapy. The same nerve pain? I thought it was gone some two years ago. The pain's repeated itself again, so I don't want to give you the chance. Okay, I would have to tell my wife. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell me that your wife is still sleeping at this time of the day. Anyway, ask the maid to get me something soft, something light, maybe snacks or whatever. I want to snack or something. <laughs> Madame of the house is still sleeping at this time of the day. <laughs> Why would she give me grandchildren? She knows how to do is to sleep and sleep away her life. It's a mistake. Wait till you're going to push in Are you deaf? Eh? How long will it take you to open the door? Wait till you're going to push in And who are you? Where is my son? Carry. Carry this thing. Carry this thing. Carry this thing. Carry this thing. Your mother is downstairs. Ah, she came. She said um, she came to see her doctor. <laughs> I'm surprised as you are, you know, that she came to see her psycho physiotherapist. Yes, you know, her cramp came back, you know, the leg cramp. So she said to see the doctor. I mean, she didn't tell us she was coming. All of a sudden, she appeared. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, you mean, but you mean she's downstairs now? I have to be on my way to the office right now. Don't worry. Make sure you take good care of her. You know, it was a long journey for her, so she needs to be taken care of. Make sure she's fine. All right? You still go to the office today? Of course. I don't have a problem with the office right now. It's good girl. Oh, don't worry. She's my mom, right? Everything is fine. Morning. Hi. I am Mama. 
Do you need something else? I don't, maybe I could get you something. Welcome. Married woman. Married woman. It took you over 40 minutes after my son came to tell the about you to come out. Housewife indeed. I was tidying up the bedroom and putting away your house clothes. Um, um, I didn't know that you were coming, so I didn't prepare anything. Can I um make okay? I could just go to the market and make your favorite soup. Oh, let me just. Idiots. Mm -hmm. I came here to eat. That food will kill you. She appeared and then um, who knows how long she was there. Who? This is trouble. Who? This is trouble. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know what to do right now. But one thing is certain. She will definitely trouble me over this is child business. And you know what? I am not ready for the drama. Not. I don't know where to come in from here. Seriously, you need to drink. Yes, you need a drink. Waiter! Waiter, please come. My husband said you came, she came for physiotherapy treatment and all that things. Yeah, I don't know. So how long is it? Um, 
I don't know, but I guess she's gonna take your achievement of her. This is serious. It is serious. Because that woman, eh, you don't know what her state does to me. You need to think out of something very fast. Why do you think I came? Who was the way I came? So that we can plan on the next action and know what to do. Please go to the house. Thank you. I want to have a word with you. I hope all is well. How can you even say that? How can you even say that? If you are barren, are you also blind that you can't see the realities of things in your, with your own eyes? Can't you see that all is not well in this house? Huh? not been able to conceive. Then it's mine. Eh, 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 tell me. Say it, it's my fault. I'm the one responsible for your inability to give birth to children, isn't it? Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hey, listen, I did not come here to back up with you. All I want you to do for me is to help me. I am begging you, let my son be. Help him. Help George for me, he is my only son. Please, be cool. Can you ask me that? And how do you want me to help him? Oh, the problem. You don't understand. Then I will explain. Let him out of your room. Eh, whatever that you are using to hold my son, allow him get away from it. Let him go. Free my son. He is my only son. Do you want my family name to go into a station? You want my family name to be forgotten? See, he needs children. I need grandchildren. Let him get a wife. Yes! Son, I know you will not like what I'm about to tell you, but I'm your mother. I will always tell you the truth. 
you have to face the realities of life. Yes. Six years is long gone. No issue. You need an heir. Mom. I don't want to believe that the reason this smithing is holding is to make me go for another woman. That is exactly what I am trying to say here. Yes. What is it? Oh, please. Come off this old method of all will be well. And get back to your senses, son. This is exactly the point. Mom, this is the reason this house... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Mom, Liz is always tensioned each time you're here. Anytime you're here, you always make this house uncomfortable for everybody. Why, Mom? Why? Why wouldn't she be? No, 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 tell me, son. Why wouldn't she be? Do you know what she was doing or who she was before you got married to her? The kind of life she was living? Do you know? Son, why don't you just consider the fact that you are my only son? Your brother died the tender age. Your two other sisters are happily married with children. You don't have any. So what do you want? You want our family name to die like that? You want our family name to go into an extinction? No! That cannot happen not while I am still alive. It cannot happen. The maker, the creator, of children and grandchildren will definitely give us our own. When? No, they say God's time is the best. When is the God's time? Yes, look at me. When is the God's time? I've been waiting for six years. Six good years. This is all you have been telling me. God's time. God's time. When will that God's time be? No, you tell me. When will it be? When I'm long gone? When I'm long gone, please, I need a child. And if you don't want to answer father, I want to answer, I want to answer grandmother. Uh -uh. Am I asking for too much? I'm not asking for too much. Somebody out there now will think I'm asking for too much. I am not asking for too much. All I'm asking for is a grandchild. Give it to me and this is more what I will end. Huh? What is it? How can I do? You're still asking me to sleep with another man to allow another man to impregnate me. God forbid, I cannot bring myself to do that. Listen, how long are you going to keep hiding under what the doctor said? How sure are you that your judge is even not sterile? Tell me. Don't say that, please. My judge is not sterile. The doctor confirmed. In fact, he affirms and certifies that I and my husband we are medically fit to have kids. So don't even say that, please. I can see you are not ready to learn. You are not just ready. Tell me, how long are your in-laws going to tolerate if your child left me? Hmm? Tell me, if George understands, will your mother-in-law understand? Will she? Then I'm my friend. It's not like I don't understand what you're doing. At. In fact, so, I'm desperate. But cheating on my husband, no. It is against my faith. It's against what I believe. It's a sin against my own Come husband. On. Actually, it's a sin against your own husband. Yes. So when your husband will throw you out of the house, tell me. He will not do such a thing. I trust him and I wake love up, him. Wake up, girl. Wake up, girl. Just my friend, up. please let's find anything. There's I'm no up for other any... way out. There has to be. Rose, don't worry. You will soon be here. You mean you don't want to take anything? No, no, no. Okay, I just want to satisfy the reason why I came. Don't worry. You will soon be here. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Please, my friend. Oh. 
He's here already. Oh, Deji. Hi. What's up? What's up? So, so. I'm fine. Um, Rose. Rose, meet my friend there, George. George, meet Rose. Okay. Oh, Good afternoon. Mama, how are you? This one, you're outside. Hey, 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 hey! Good. Elizabeth, or whatever they call you. Do I look like your mom? Yes! Do I, in any way, look like your mom? If you see your mom being drunk somewhere, you look at her like that. You won't recognize her. I'm asking you. Hey, who come here? I know if you're Hey, 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 You listen and listen good. Your time in this house has expired. Yes! Between your ass, if uh, 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 somebody that the uh, water is being so just want to drown, hey, hey, who? pack your things and leave. Yes, you heard me. Mom, what do you mean by that? Mom, what do you mean by that? Exactly what you heard. Exactly what you heard. I will not sit down here and watch you ruin my lineage. You, this girl, evil woman like you, I will not watch you. So go in there, pack your things, and leave. Idiot. Foolish woman. Barren thing. Give birth to children. No. Leave. Let someone come in. No. What is it? Iga Bwabonya. Amosu. Go! Go! I don't want you go. I need grandchildren for, 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 for my son. Go! Go! What is it? Useless thing. Barren woman. You cannot even bear children. Not even a miscarriage. For once! It's yours. I will make life unbearable for you. Stupid thing. Um, Rose, it's my friend I told you about. Oh, he's cute. Yeah? He's cute. Hmm? <laughs> George, George. I don't why are you asking such questions? Check yourself. What's what's going on? Why are you asking such questions? Always going. Are you a baby? Oh, Bridget. Relax. Are you relax? What are you talking about? Can I see yourself? I want to see your side by. George. What's all this? Come on, George. Excuse me, you are married. What's all this drama for? My guy, calm down. You don't know that you're in a total mess right now. You need to open your heart. You need to give another woman a chance in your life. Excuse me, Deji. Did you bring me here to open up for a girl? Come on, bro. Rose is not a hook up girl. She's a banker. A staff in a bank. You never can tell she can get the one to get you a child. Out of wedlock? Can you say a child out of wedlock? What is wrong with you? Never! What is wrong with you? George! Hey! What is wrong with you? We are talking about six years here! 
Eh? And he's still counting. Eh? See, nothing is wrong. A man getting a, a, a child outside, outside the other woman is not a wrong thing. Men do it. If you do it, it's not a bad thing. It's a normal thing. What is wrong with you? George, I'm just concerned because you're my friend. George! George, I'm still talking with you! George! Um, Rose, um, I'm so sorry, okay, for the convenience. It's just that something, something came up. Relax. Hey, you brought me here to insult me. After wasting my time. Oh, Bruce, how can I brought you here to embarrass you? I just explained, I'm sorry. Okay? It's just the tea, it's my friend. I'm still going to hook you guys up, okay? I've never been this embarrassed in my life. Thank you very much. Bruce, Excuse wait, me. Wait, 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 very stupid for asking me that kind of question. Since you came to this house, have you ever seen that bedroom door locked? Who locked it? Ma, I don't know. I don't I didn't even know that your bedroom door is locked. God. What are you doing in this house? How will you not know? You're, you're, you're just so stupid. Come on, get out of here. Thank you, ma. Stupid girl. of my daughters. Look at you. It's not even only that you cannot even bear children. You don't even have manners. Eh? Who are they Jaka? Useless thing. Get out of my presence. Get out. Get out. You irritate me. I said get out. Get out. <laughs> Smelling thing. Get out. Susupo. Susupo. Get out. Mm. You had the key. Give me the key. Don't that fire you. Come and take key. You idiot. Useless thing. Barren woman. Cannot even bear fruit. The Bible said, any tree that cannot bear fruit, we should cut it. I'm here to cut you down. I will cut you to pieces. Come and take key. Come and take key.
Mom. Son. Why do you have to lock up my room? And above all, you slapped my wife. Why? Is that what she told you? She didn't tell you she was insulting you. Oh, she didn't tell you that too. Mom. Son. Leave insulted you. My wife insulted you. I can say, obviously, this is not the son that I raised. Yes. Since you have decided to lose your senses all in the name of marriage, then you listen and listen good. Make sure you no longer step your foot on my husband's property until you get back your senses. Yes. Yes. No. Son. You will not threaten me with my own father's property. No, you won't. Really? Yes. <laughs> I know my wife. I know the woman I married. She's well trained. She's well behaved, just as I am. George, you can go on and believe whatever you want to believe. First thing tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. to be precise, I'll be leaving for God's Have a good life, George. What's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? Judge, you think you can make a fool of me? You want to make me a mockery among your family and all my friends? I will not allow that. You are not leaving this house today until you agree to go to the doctor. Is that what this whole drama is all about? This woman put me through in her trust stay in my house. But thank God, finally, she left. That's what you wanted. You have the opportunity to do the needful. But you wouldn't. Better, what are you saying? I can't even. I can't even imagine the thought of another oh, man touching my body. No, I can never cheat on my husband. No. <laughs> So why is Janet now? What's your plan over her situation? You know, I couldn't do anything because my mother-in-law was around. But now that she's gone, that is why I'm here. So that we'll plan on the next step. Okay, um, let's let's go to your house. Where is she now? I sent her to the market. She should be there for some time. Let us hurry. Mm -hmm. What's your problem? 
Are we not together in this? Or sit together? We are not together in anything. We are not together, let me tell you. And since you have refused to go to the doctors, you are the cause of our childlessness. What? Yes! Damn what? Do, do you want me to, 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 to hit you? You want me to slap the living dead out of you? You want to hit me? Go ahead and beat me! Hit me! Come back! Beat me! Listen, listen! If you, if you, listen! If you dare try any rubbish... What was that all about? You shouldn't have allowed him leave the compound. Could have blocked him or something. What is wrong with you? I thought you knew we have an ongoing plan. What has come over you? Just that nothing has happened. And how sure are you? Well, there is nothing. It's obvious now. It is very obvious. George is the problem. No wonder he doesn't want to go to the doctor. Where is she? She should be in the kitchen or something. Janet! Janet! Yes, madam! Ah. Yes, madam. I'm getting a plate of pepper soup for Vera, my friend. Come back here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then get me a glass of water. Hey, you can go, go, go. I'm pretty sure she's not pregnant. She's not, I'm very, very sure. Start vomiting. Since three days now. Three days? And you did not tell me. I I thought it was malaria. Janet, you now know it's not malaria. Hmm? It's very obvious our plan has worked out. Hmm? You can go. Huh? We'll talk to you about this later. Okay? <laughs> As you can see, your husband is not the problem here. <laughs> you are the problem. <laughs> because of all this, oh my God. <laughs> what am I going to do? Vera, what are we going to do? There's nothing to worry about. Mm? We'll stick to the plan. The plan? Abortion. Abortion. Of course. We need to abort that baby as soon as possible. Hmm? There's no delay. That's the only way out. Let's go.
Janet! Janet! Yes, madam. Janet! Um, how are you? Um, if, um, this is your food, you've not eaten it. You have to eat it now. I want you to be eating food, eh? Look at you, you're getting lean. And people will say I'm not feeding you. Please eat your food now. Now, now. I mean now. Eat it now. I don't want to hear that uh, you're losing weight in this house. Janet, Janet, eat it here. Yeah? now <laughs> hello Vera she is still very much okay I'm serious <laughs> in fact she's going about her activities as if nothing happened Applied it exactly as instructed. I was expecting. Oh my God! Vera, I applied it as instructed. Wait, are you sure she's not aware of our plans? You need to do something. We really need to do something. I can't take it anymore. Okay. Can you please go? Listen, sweetheart, we don't have to, you know, do this all the time. We don't have to. What's going on? Why are you saying that? Am I complaining? Am I complaining? Okay, fine. I've got good news for you. Um... I stopped by the family doctors and uh, we, we scheduled an appointment for tomorrow. You're supposed to be happy about that. Honey? Mm, yes. Okay, now, ma. Wow. Now, you're looking over. Chat! 
Acha. Now I'm blushing. <laughs> when I say you're looking very nice. Today. Thank you very much. But what happened last night? You weren't happy. Um. Uh... Okay. Okay. Fine. I will see the doctor today. Um. There will be no need for that. I mean, why? 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 Why did he say so? Well, I went to Doctor Festus' office some days back, and uh, he told me that uh, we're both medically sound. But there's nothing wrong with us. I'm wrong with that. Um, uh, some days ago, I um dropped by his office. Oh, he didn't tell you. When I went there, that was what he told me. In fact, don't worry, we're not keeping the appointments again. Well, the good thing is that we're medically fit now. Yeah. At least the doctor already confirmed we are fine. Mm -hmm. And that is the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me get going. Okay. All right. See you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll prepare your favorite. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Have a lovely day. A blessed day. Bye. <laughs> So, George, are you sure your wife meant what she said? Hmm. It still surprises me. <laughs> I'm still surprised. My wife. My wife that has been the one disturbing me like... That lady has been a problem to me. Disturbing me to go and see the doctor. All of a sudden, stopped. And she's even the one telling me that I shouldn't bother seeing the doctor anymore. That the doctor confirmed that both of us are in good condition. I'm still surprised. I mean, this is strange. So what are you going to do, bro? What else am I supposed to do? No, what am I supposed to do? The family doctor already confirmed that my wife and I are in good condition, as she said. So, I mean, that settles it. Nothing more. <laughs> That means this is good news. That shows that you're fit. Of course I'm fit. I'm very... What else do you expect? What are you expecting? Wow. I'm fit. I, I don't need reminding. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I, I'm fit though. Huh? Janet, you're so funny. <laughs> Janet, this is my house. I can go anywhere I want in this house. And if I want anything, I'll just take it. Um, Janet, I want you to do something for me. <laughs> mm. You know I've been good to you. I've treated you like my sister and everything. I want you to get rid of that thing. Okay. I can't afford this baby. Do you want me to die? You're a small girl. Small girls like you do this every day. Hmm. They even have bought it two, three, ten times and none of them has died. Listen, I am your auntie. You know I've been taking care of you. In fact, I will take you to my doctor. And he will do it very well for you. Nothing will happen to you. I can't, I can't afford this pregnancy. It's not possible. What? I, I've heard how so many girls lose their life in this process. I can't do it. What are you saying? Do you want to destroy my marriage? Do you want to destroy my marriage after all I did for you? Listen and listen very carefully. You will abort that baby. If you don't, I will rip it out of you. In fact, I will destroy you before you destroy my marriage. Are you hearing me? Fool, it's yours.
You see, I know my wife has accepted the doctor's report. But what is the guarantee that she will not resume her disturbance again? See, George, if you can take my advice, go to another hospital and run this test and forget all this family doctor thing. I should forget Dr. Festus. Listen, Dr. Festus has been my family doctor for more than 11 years. So, so I mean, and uh, last I checked, he's still doing his job. And that is the reason why you need to go to another hospital and do this. Because the lazy you know will be silent for a while. After a while, she will start up again. You know her very well. Well, think about it. Honey, who picked who from the slums? I thought you told me that Janet is your sister's daughter. Honey, well, you see, eh? I can explain. Honey, it's not what you think. Serious, but it's something I you just need to know. Okay, so what is it? I want my sister's daughter to come and stay with us. Actually, my cousin that stays in Osho State, her daughter. <laughs> You've not met her, I know that. You've not met her before. I want her to come and stay with us so that she can help us with house chores. Well, if, if that's going to make her happy, it's no problem. She can come. Oh, honey! Yeah, but, but before I forget, how old is she? You know, this house is very big. And this is not what a small child can handle, so... No, 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 she's an adult. Uh, yeah. Okay, no problem, you can get her. She should come for her. There's no problem, yeah. Well, do not tell me you are too tired, because I have plans. 
And I hope your plans is not what I'm thinking. It is what you're thinking. Because of. right now, good no, <laughs> it's what I'm thinking. You better get something. Get something. You told me that she is your sister. How come your friend says she came from the slums? Well, honey, that was what I was trying to explain to you. If you give me chance, I will explain it. And if I overheard everything very well, who is pregnant and who is talking about terminating pregnancy? What's what's happening? George, what um, Liz was trying to... Hey, hey. Just keep your cool. Janet. Are you pregnant? Yes, sir. I see. Interesting. So, so what was that drama there for? Sir, I'm pregnant for you. What? What? No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't hear you. You say you're, you're what? I'm pregnant for you. You must be out of your mind. You are insane. Is something wrong with you? In Apuala, you're pregnant for who? How? It's just, I think I... Hey, you ain't going nowhere. You won't step an inch out of this house until I get to the root of this whole thing. Honey. Janet, you're the only one that is willing to talk. So speak to me. How did I get you pregnant? How, where? How come? What happened? Like, I don't get how. Did you ask who? What is going on? What is happening here? Babe, you sounded so urgent on the phone. What is it? Where are you now? You know, my usual problem. My usual what else? In fact, I don't know what to do. I'm out of ideas. Come on, Liz. We've been friends for so long now. And I know what you're going through over this, your childlessness. What am I supposed to do? I have an advice for you. You do? Yes. Since the doctors have confirmed that you and your husband are medically okay, I think the problem is from your husband. What? Vera! Come on. How could you say it in like that? Are you a baby? This is the secret men keep away from women, just to lay blames on them. I'm sure your husband is paying the doctors to say he's okay. How can you insinuate such a thing? Open your eyes, babe. Come on. See, see what you will do. You need to get a girl to get pregnant for your husband. Jeez. That is the only way we can know if your husband is fertile or not. Vera, you are asking me to go and get another woman. Uh -uh. Another man. Another woman to no, see. another man. God. No! You are a baby, eh? <laughs> oh. See what you do. You need to get a girl to get pregnant for your husband. Jeez. That is the only way we can know if your husband is fertile or not. Vera, you are
I met her at District Road and liked her. And from then onwards, I started visiting her often. Um, so, Janet, I'm listening. I have nothing much. I'm an orphan. I grew up in an orphanage home and when nobody came to adopt me, allow me to stay till I was 18. So I was empowered with 200,000 to start up this business. How long have you been here? Since five years now. It's indeed a pathetic story. But from now onwards, I don't want you to feel like an orphan anymore. You know why? Because you have a big sister who is ready to take care of you. What? Hey, Auntie, will you do this for me? Oh my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Janet, listen. You will not take me just as your sister. From now onwards, I am going to also be a mother to you, okay? Don't worry about anything again, okay? Janet, you are looking so beautiful today. Thank you, Mama. This is the money you gave to me last time. We thank God. We thank God. Um, well, Janet, meet uh, Vera. She's my very good friend. Vera, meet Janet, my adopted daughter. Wow, <laughs> Janet. You are so lucky. Hmm? Lizzie here is a very nice person. Yes, I saw it. She has been so nice to me. And this to return those favors. How? I'm confused. I need your needs, your help. Hmm? She wants to know if her husband is fatal or not. We think he's hiding something from us. I don't have anything. How can I help my daughter? I don't need anything from you. Hmm? I want you to sleep with my husband. What is the meaning of this? How can you ask me to sleep with your husband? What if I get pregnant? That is exactly what we want to know. If her husband can impregnate a woman. Hmm? I don't need to
Not only drug me, you brought in a total stranger to sleep with me. You went as far as wanting to terminate the pregnancy. Something you could not give me for six years. That's wickedness. Same Vera as we speak. That same Vera have ruined your marriage. <laughs> Don't come close to me. Do not. And as for this poor innocent girl that is carrying my child, she go nowhere. Yes. What do you mean by that? The day you brought in a total stranger into this house. That is the day you opened the door for another person. This is an expensive error and you will deal with it for the rest of your life. George, please. Get out. Janet, come here. God, 
has blessed me with everything. I had it all. Yes, I treat all the well. I treat all the Oh my God. Oh God. Seven years of marriage. Seven years. I've destroyed it. Destroyed it to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <Am> I <done? laughs> Judge! Judge! <laughs> Judge! It's no longer funny because by the time I, I report him and then he loses his job, maybe that will start him better. Oh, Mr. Bright, it hasn't come to that. It hasn't come to that. See, yes, George is my friend, but you and I know that he has contributed a lot in that company. Yes, he's facing challenges in his family right now. He needs our support. All we have to do is just give him a little time. I know he will come. Okay, you know what? This time I'm going to talk to him again. And I know he is going to listen to me. So please, Mr. Bright, I know you can do this. Please, let's just help your brother and your colleague. Right. Ah. What is even keeping this girl? Let her cough. Where is this girl? What is eating you up, bro? Do you know that the director called me and he was complaining bitterly about your performance in the office? What is it? You can talk to me, I'm your friend. No, you know that. Uh, you know that baby. I've not been up to speed when it comes to my official duties. I know, but you're my friend. You're my very close friend, and you should understand what 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 I am passing through. My my house is not in order. The whole thing is just driving me crazy. Like I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I understand, bro. I understand. I'm sorry for asking you that, but you know, this is your office. I mean, you should don't lose your job also. I mean, your, your wife and now your job. Come on, this is where you, you work. This is your job. This is where you get your pay and your... Please, I, I, I really care about you. You are, my, you are like a, a blood to me. So, come on, you have to put yourself together. I understand. Okay? I understand. I think I get your point. I do. I do. So, what about the new girl now? She's good. She's pretty. She's okay. She's fine. So, 
If she's pretty, she's okay, then don't let her go. Sorry, you said what? <laughs> See, my guy, come, mm. come on, man. This is a great opportunity for you to become a father. <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I would grab it. Yes. I think you have a point, but my wife. My wife, yes. What, what happens to my wife? <laughs> well, I don't have anything to say because that one is your business. I know you're a man enough to take care of your wife, so I have nothing to say about it. But think about what I told you. It's for your own good, bro. That, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Thank you very much for looking out for me. Come on. All right. Yeah, yeah, shake well, you know, I'm always here for you, bro. Are you okay? How can I be okay? When you sent your wife out of the house. Must we go through this again? I thought this matter has been put to rest. Okay, ask yourself. What if I have died of drug overdose? I only wanted to help. I thought she needed the baby. I don't know if she will ask me to terminate it. it. You're looking out for such a woman. Huh? You're looking out for such a woman. Please, enough of that woman in this house. I don't want to discuss this matter again. house anymore. I have searched virtually everywhere. She's not here. And she doesn't have a phone. It's my wife friend, of course. That evil advisor. Oh. See, 
I, I understand that Liz is your... I understand that Liz was your best friend. But would you want me to lose my first fruit? Would you be happy if I should lose my first fruit? Something I've waited for years? Please help me. Janet is nowhere to be found. Help me. Please, let me just locate her. I beg you. Trust me, this is no longer your life. You have a family now. 